Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our four part series on file system objects. Today we're going to build some code that will check whether a file exists and if it does exist it will delete that file. So at the starting point we can take a look at what's in the folder where we're working. We'll see in this folder we have a file called work planner copy and our VBA code will check whether that exists and if it does exist it'll delete it. Let's try running that code now with the F5 key and then take a look in the immediate window. We'll see the immediate window is telling us that it has deleted the file and if we actually take a look in our folder we can see now the file is actually gone. So let's get started now with building that code. we've constructed our code to build the various file paths. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the file system object to check whether a file already exists for the one we are going to create and if it does exist then we're going to delete that file again using the file system object and there are two methods that we are going to use to do this the first one is the file exists method and the second one is the delete file method so our code looks like if fso object dot file exists copy file path then First of all, we'll print a message to the immediate window. And then we'll actually use the file system object to delete that file. and we want to force the deletion as well. Okay, so we'll save it there. Code compiles fine. And then we're just gonna run our code using the F5 key. Open up the immediate window using Control and G. And we'll see, as before, we've got the two file paths being printed out. And then we've got the message to say the copy file does not already exist. Okay, that's exactly what we were expecting. As an example, let's manually create that copy file and let's just rerun our code. Okay, so you can see here I've just copied the workplanner.xlsb file. And then we're just going to run our code again using the F5 key. Open up the immediate window with Control and G. And we can see the message saying that the file did exist and it's now deleting the file. Let's clear out the immediate window, close it down. And then when we look in our folder, we can see that this time the work planner copy.xlsb has in fact been deleted. So our code is working exactly like we expected to. Mm -hmm.